Hi everyone, another brush boot camp for you during distance learning or if it's not distance learning anymore. Welcome to brush boot camp part two. This one, I don't want you to use your pinky too much as a little kickstand. I want you to don't rest your hand on anything so you're really just like building stability and strength in your arm. And just some things that you're gonna do are another brush pressure drill without using your pinky, so I call it a hovering hand drill. And you're, I used the same brushes that I did in part one, so I used two round brushes, one large and one small, and then two flat brushes, one large and one small. Um, have some fun. For sure, pause the video, slow it down, or speed it up whenever you need to. And I hope you enjoy and I hope you have fun. Don't forget also that practice does not necessarily make perfect. Perfect practice makes progress. So don't stress if you want it to be perfect. I also tried to just be as honest with my video as possible so I didn't start the video over if I made a mistake so notice some of the little parts where it's not totally perfect and that's how you learn things you know anyways I hope you guys enjoy I hope you stay tuned for brush boot camp part three I've been planning it and I love you all have a good day Hovering hand pressure drill. Do not rest your hand, your arm, or your pinky. Hold your arm up. Push hard and then soft and repeat until your brush runs out of paint. Don't worry, this video is three times faster than I did it in real life. So don't stress and pause when you feel like you need to. Pause the video here and practice at least two lines per brush. For this part, you're going to use your two flat brushes and do a zigzag pattern while hovering your hand. Hold your brush at a slanted position the entire time. Naturally, your brush will go up and create a thin line and it'll create a fat line as you go down towards the right. Again, try not to rest your hand, arm, or your pinky. Pause the video here and practice at least two lines per brush. For this exercise, you're going to use your round brushes. You're going to create wave patterns by hovering your hand and as your brush goes up, you'll create a thin line just like the zigzags and as your brush goes down, you'll create a thick line. 
Remember, try not to rest your hand, arm, or your pinky. Pause the video here and practice at least two lines per brush. For this activity, you are going to use all of your brushes. I like to call it O's in O's hovering hand drill. You're gonna start with larger circles or O's with your larger brushes and work your way smaller as you put O's inside of your bigger O's. Remember, try not to rest your hand, arm, or your pinky. Also, try not to think of them as perfect circles. Mine aren't perfect. Think of them as the letter O, the number zero, or just a goofy oval. No need to strive for absolute perfection. Pause the video here and take your time as you finish your O's. This last part of the video is just me playing. Definitely play around with your brushes, test some new little techniques that you learned, or just have a little bit of fun. You definitely earned it.
right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope you give it a try. And also I wanted to show you this dope little brush holder and water cup holder that was created for me by a family friend, Ryan Mitchell. Thank you so much. I love this. This beautiful wood is just awesome. And oh, and it also holds this glass perfectly. Um, so thank you so much. I absolutely love it.